All right, this is a knowledge share video. If you have poor signal, getting a lot of Wi-Fi disconnects for your power wall. This is my gateway on the outside of my house that is has struggling like hell to get signal from the inside and I don't have ethernet tied in. So I have a couple updates for you on how I fixed it. So this is my power wall too. And what I'm gonna share is applies pretty much to any of the power walls, but mainly the ones where if you don't have ethernet set up, which is the real solution, you have to have Tesla come out and schedule a service call and it was gonna cost over $300 for them to come out to get ethernet through the wall and hooked up to the gateway. So if you have that opportunity in the beginning, I would highly recommend it. And the distance from the gateway on the other side of the block um, is to a Wi-Fi extender. So I'll link the one that I use. This pretty much resolved it. This Wi-Fi extender had to be this close. I had it just about 10 feet more to the right and that was dropping all the time. Even though without the extender, I got plenty of signal to the gateway. It was like hovering around three bars. It was dropping all the time. This was like three to four bars over there. And then since yesterday, I've had zero drops and this does support ethernet. So if you're getting an original install, you can ethernet from the extender to the power wall and they are gonna be phasing out. So if you have like, like 4G, um, these power walls came with 3G, which was discontinued last year. So everyone started getting worse connections uh, that had a poor signal from their router. Newer ones have 4G and then the newest ones have, uh, the newest gateways support 5G and that's where Tesla said they're prioritizing their time. So it, it wasn't worth it to me. I was I wanted Tesla to come out and help me put the ethernet, uh, as it said from the owner's manual for Powerwall 2, that the owners uh, can't do that. You have to have a service tech come out and uh, install it through the gateway. But um, this seemed to fix it so far. So I hope this helps you. Uh, at least it applies in North America is get an extender. This is a refurbished one. It's like, tw it's less than $30 and it has to be that close. So this is probably within 10 feet if you look at the other side of the wall. So um, that's it. Take care.